Hola amigos, I am crooked. Hola amigos, I am here to do a different video. This is going to be a what's in my garbage, what's in my basura, what's in my trash. I've done one of these or a couple of these on my channel a long time ago, so I wanted to go ahead and just uh, do another one because I have garbage. So I want to show you guys what's in my garbage. Sounds weird. All right, let's get right into it. So ultimately, all of these things I finished. So these are pretty much like my empties. First thing I have is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I wasn't a big fan of this, but I just got this little travel size one while I was in Ireland because I ran out of my regular one that I usually use. It did the job, but I just didn't like how much I had to use of it. I have here the Axe Antiperspirant Dark Temptation. You guys know I love using this men's deodorant i love the smell and i just it just works for me don't judge me all right i have two of these these are the avalon organics intense defense with vitamin c renewal cream it is the moisturizer face moisturizer that i use i do have two of them because i go through this like crazy use it as a day as well as a night cream next thing that i have is the instant natural dual phase mattifying toner it's that and I actually got this free for review and I used it. This lasted a long time and I, it smelled funny, but I mean, it did mattify my skin before I put moisturizer on it. So it did the job, but meh. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Cream Cleanser. So you guys know that this was a part of my holy grail, but I'm trying to wean off of Neutrogena because they do animal testing that I don't agree with. Not that I agree with any animal testing. I have yet to find a face wash that I like that compares to this. So I'm actually really sad about that. Next thing I have is by Victoria's Secret. This is the lotion Hello Darling. I have the worst luck with lotion because any lotion or scent that I let end up liking, they end up discontinuing. So yeah, they discontinue this and it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Next thing I have is Pacifica Island Vanilla Natural Soap. I absolutely love the smell of this. Everything about it, lotion, soap, perfume, love it. I have here two, these are like facial cleansers. They're like skin whitening because they're from the Philippines. One is Sulca Papaya Facial Cleanser. And then the other is a classic, which is Escanol. So everyone knows this. If you're from the Philippines, you've used this and it just cleans my face. I just don't like how it whitens it because then my face doesn't match the rest of my body. Okay, so I have here two body lotions by Bodycology. So these I absolutely love. They're from Walmart. They're a Walmart brand. Sweet love. It smells so good. I love the sweet scent. I have a bunch of makeup removers. So the first one that I have is by Clinique Take the Day Off. It's just a little sample size that I have been using. Love this. This is my favorite eye makeup remover. It, so easy. Two things that could easily rival that is the Neutrogena as well as the Target brand Up and Up. So there's the Neutrogena one. But again, like I said, I'm trying to wean off a of Neutrogena. And then this is my go-to now. This is at Target. I think it's like two for two for seven dollars or something really really affordable. Next thing I have is um, essential oils facial cleansing wipes with coconut and kale. That. I think I got this from Marshalls. I'm not a big fan of it. Didn't really clean my makeup. I had to use like two or three at a time. This is the Say Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Wipes. This is a Target brand, or not a Target brand, but a brand you can buy in Target. And I just did not like it because it made, it like stung my eyes. Like stung my eyes and I was like, what the heck? If this is supposed to help me remove my makeup, how is it stinging my eyes? I don't understand it. I have here the Majestic Pure Dead Sea Mud Mask. That. You guys, I got this free for review and I absolutely love it. This lasted me forever. Yeah, it's, I think it's I think it's like $15 on Amazon or something. Next thing I have is by Kors or Kores Black Pine. It is a night cream. There's that. And I absolutely love the smell of this. And I love how a little goes a long way with this. And it worked wonders. Like my skin felt moisturized in the morning when I woke up. I absolutely loved it. I'm really sad that I ran out. Oh, it's 
smells so good. Okay, next thing that I have is by Tree Hut Skincare. This is Exfoliating Mud Mask. That. So this dried up really easily. Like I couldn't even use it all because it dried up so easily. So <clears throat> next thing I have is by Ole Henriksen, and this is the Ultimate uh, Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. And this was the eye cream slash eye gel that I used for the longest time. The next thing that I have is by Promise Organic. It's Nourishing Coconut Melt Facial Lotion with Hibiscus. And this was just a sample and I actually got another sample in my Ipsy bag. I don't know if I'm going to do an Ipsy unboxing or whatever, but I like this a lot. Next thing I have is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. It was interesting. It's like it felt like a lotion when you're putting on your face to wash your face. So it was quite interesting. If you can get over the texture, it, it does what it's supposed to. The next thing I have is the Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating Facial souffle moisturizer so you guys this isn't an empty i still have so much in there i love the smell but i just don't like what it does to my face like, i have oily combo skin and this just made me even more oilier or it just dried me out i don't know how it does both or it does one or the other but it, it, i just never could find a happy medium when it came to this so i'm really sad about that I don't know, maybe the Yes To brand I'm just not a big fan of. I don't know, I haven't found anything that I really, really, really like from them. This is the Peter Lamaze Exfoliant Pumpkin Facial Scrub. Is that? I absolutely love, 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 love this. And I have yet to buy a full size one, but I, it smells amazing. The scrubs are perfect and oh my gosh, like, this is my favorite facial scrub for sure and it smells amazing. Next is the Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10. That and I would use this as a spa treatment before I would go to oops. I would use this as a spa spot treatment before I went to sleep underneath my moisturizer. And I don't know if it's working for me now anymore because I feel like even if I do put it on certain spots, I don't see the results that I have in the past. I don't know. Maybe my skin has gotten used to this. Next thing I have is the Lancome Visionaire. This is a advanced skin corrector. I use it as a moisturizer. Is that... I actually like this and a little went a long way when it came to this. I mixed this with other moisturizers and it worked really, really well. The price tag is quite pricey. I did get this free, not from Lancome, but I did get this. I didn't buy it myself, so yeah. Okay, next I have the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. It's one of these ones. Obviously, I didn't finish it, but I just... I don't know i i'm not a big i used to like this a lot but i've been using one from i found it at a local store here and it's local it's from Ev their their company in everett i've been using theirs and i absolutely love it so i think i'm done with this i will say that i do like how it's in like a little um lipstick thing so it's really clean but i i, I don't know i'm okay with it <laughs> next thing that i have is by cleaning clear cover girl matte in soft honey like that and i got the one that isn't an oil control so i'm really sad about it because blue is the oil control i got the regular one which is like a brown cover but i absolutely love this this is my face powder that i use on a daily basis this is the tarte precision precision longwear liner that and i only use this a couple of times and it got really dry like it's really dry like i don't know when it's going it's not precise there it is it's not precise to me like i can't it, it it's dry at the tip and i just i don't know i'm just not a big fan of it next thing that i have is elf in the color light and this is like i use this as a concealer for my under eyes and this worked really well and i think that this is a good dupe for Maybelline Fit Me under eye concealer thing to work just as well so yeah. then the last things that I have are actually mascara I am a mascara maniac so I go through it like crazy so let me just go through quickly for you this is the organic wear by physicians formula it's this and I wasn't a big fan 
I felt like it just coated my lashes. It didn't give it any volume. It didn't separate it. It didn't make it longer. It just coated my lashes. Next thing that I have is the e.l.f. 3-in-1 Mascara Length Define and Moisturize and um, Volumize. And I think this is the one that I was like, ooh, it's really interesting because it had a tip, but it dried up so easily. So this one reminded me the tip. Oh, dang it. I can't get it in there. Damn it. Yep, no, that's not happening. I have here the Voluminous Million Lashes Diamonds. I don't know who this is by. There's that. And the one thing I didn't like about this is that it actually really had... I don't know if you can see it, but it has glitter in it. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. Next thing that I have is the CoverGirl Plumpify Blash Pro. There's that. And I actually really like this. Look at this wand. It's freaking huge. And I don't necessarily like plastic wands, but this I can make an exception for. I have here the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. You guys, look at this wand, please. Like amazing but, and this is truly an empty because i did not fin I, or i finished it so that's why it's in here and then this is actually one that i really really love this is the l'oreal telescopic mascara you can tell this is really old because i don't think this is the package of it anymore the packaging it's totally different but i just really this even if it is super duper thin if my freaking camera will focus there it is it's really thin but you guys this works wonders wonders but that pretty much wraps it up for all my empties i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did go give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos by me click that red subscribe button it would totally make my day and i will see you guys later bye